what was your first job? Well, my first job was a fella down the alley from us who was opening up a little repair shop on Laramie and Diversi. So I had to go in there and sit there all day after school and Saturday, and people would bring in their toasters or their irons or some little electrical thing, and he would fix it. And How I old were you? I was probably about um, 13, 12, 13, 14, something like that. What did you do after that job? After that job, I went and got a job at Belmont and Central at the dime store, and I worked in the ribbon department. Which, which, uh, which, which dime store was it? I don't remember if it was at Kresge's or Woolworth. I just mm -hmm. don't, but it was definitely a dime store. Yeah. What was your uh, job after that? My job after that, when I graduated, I went down to downtown. My brother Dick worked at National Fire, and he got me a job as a typist working down in the insurance exchange building. Where was that located? Of uh, 175 West Jackson. See and some how of these numbers. <laughs> well, I, who knows now? I would take the Diversity bus to Western Avenue, and no, that wasn't it. No, no, I took. Diversity bus to Wrightwood, and then I got on the L and went right downtown, and then I had to walk over to the insurance exchange building. Mm -hmm. And the L is what? The L is the uh, uh, above level um, transit. Transit, Train. yeah, yeah. L it's still there. Building. It's still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you get off on the, uh, in the loop. You were right downtown. Got, yeah, got right in the loop. Yeah. And what were you wearing in those days? Did you have to wear high heels walking uh, all those distances? No, but you had to have nylons and a skirt and a blouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I couldn't wear my jeans. Were you a good typist? I was a pretty fast typist, yeah. Had you taken typing in school? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you knew, so you've always been a very fast typist. Yes. And so you did take that in school? Yes. And along with the Stargazing Club, you were involved. I was part of the Stargazing Club. Yes. What did you like about the Stargazing Club? My, my old boyfriend. <laughs> Which boyfriend was I that? I can't one? say that. <laughs> there were a couple of old boyfriends. I know. <laughs> Who did you go to the prom with? Uh, Bill Zink. Mm -hmm. uh, first I went to one with Jim Taylor. And when I went first went to his junior prom, then I went uh, with Bill Zink to his senior prom, and then I went to George Backer at my junior prom. Mm -hmm. And which guy did you always really, you, which guy were you real keen on out of all these? My best pal was George Backer. Mm -hmm. He was just such a good friend of mine. He was just like, a, just always very special. Yeah. And when did you meet your spouse to be? How old were you? Mm, let's see, I was probably, I was working downtown, I mean down in uh, Belmont and Central at the dime store, um, and I was driving, walking down Lar or LeClaire Avenue, one of those streets, Lamont or something, and he drove by and he pulled his car up right in front of me and I had to stop. And Who is this now? This is Ronald Linder, your dad. So all the stories of meeting him on the staircase weren't true, you actually saw him earlier in the time because he hung with your brothers. Yeah, and I actually don't remember what happened first. But you noticed him. I think so you I had think noticed him. Uh, yeah, I had noticed him because he was cute as that anything. And yeah. he was driving a vehicle on what street? Uh, down Larmy, and then uh, I was walking home, and he was driving by and uh, stopped and talked to me. Yeah. And and did he catch that you were related to Bob and Dick, his friends? I think he probably knew that. Because he hung out at your family's house when you guys would have parties. Yes, yes, uh, what yes. What kind of parties did your parents have? Beer drinking parties. Yeah, beer drinking. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys play beer pong in the basement? No. <laughs> Is that how you got so good at ping pong? No. Beer pong? No, we played ping pong all the time, but yeah. not during the parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was a lot of jazz, yeah. music. All jazz, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your parents were, must have been a little lax? I, I, think, I think they were pretty lax because... <laughs> The guys would always come to our house and the girls and have a party every Friday or Saturday night. Mother didn't like it because she had to clean up the basement the next day. Yeah. You can't blame her. <laughs> it was a mess. Yeah. So when was the next time that you saw Dad and he kind of caught your eye again? Uh, I come driving down LeClaire, uh, I mean Laramie, and... Um, 
And when was the next time you saw him after that? Uh, he would come over to the house, and um, I don't remember all the other times I saw him. We had parties, the groups had parties, or we went out, and we took, we double dated with another couple here and there. You double dated with Dad? Yeah. With another couple? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And had you um, then gotten to know his family yet? Had you been introduced to his parents I yet? I finally got involved? introduced to his family, yes, uh, and I don't remember uh, too much about that. But um, I don't know if they ever even accepted me. They, they, they kind of expected more from her dad. <laughs> but anyhow, they were very, very pleasant, very nice, and lived right by Foreman High School where I went to high school. Ron went to Lane. I went to Foreman. Mm -hmm. And how old, much older was Dad than you? I think Daddy's uh, two years, I think, two years older than me. Yeah. And so you had a, a dating phase where you, you, you liked each other. Yes, yes. You're, you're what, 16 years old? Yeah, 17. Years old. And we started going steady. Mm -hmm. And then he came and told me he was going. He joined the Army, and he was going to be gone for two years. Mm 